everyone, it's Sharon here. Today I'm going to show you how to create mirror stamping using the Misty. We're going to use this Paper Smooches Zoo Crew stamp set and from this set we're going to use the crocodile image. So to start with I'm going to stamp the crocodile just onto some plain white card. So I'll place the card in the corner of my Misty and place the stamp where I want to put the image. Then I can pick up the stamp with the Misty lid and ink it up ready to go. I'm using Memento Rich Cocoa ink for this. You need to use an ink that's not going to dry too quickly, so don't use anything like Stays On, um, but any 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 ink that, that's not fast drying will do. Uh, Memento is ideal because if you're going to colour it in afterwards, you, you, you would need to use Memento or something similar. So I've stamped that and it's looking fine so I don't need to go over that again. So now I'm going to stamp the image again onto some acetate. I've got some really cheap copier type acetate here, any type will do. You could even use a piece of packaging, anything with a slick surface really. The good thing about using the Misty for this part is that as, as the image goes down onto the sheet it won't move. When you're using an acrylic block to do this, quite often as you place the stamp onto the acetate it slides a little bit and your image gets smudged. That can't happen with the Misty so that's what makes it absolutely ideal for, for this technique. Now I'm going to ink this up again. I want to make sure because I'm going to be transferring this ink from the acetate onto some card I want to make sure I've really got a good amount of ink there. So doing it twice just ensures that there's plenty. So now that's stamped I can transfer the image onto the card. So I just need to place the acetate carefully on top of my card making sure it doesn't move and then just rub the back of the image thoroughly. Go over it a couple of times just to make sure you've got every single bit and then you can peel the sheet back and there we go. It's transferred absolutely perfectly. Had it not transferred perfectly and there were a few faint areas, you can touch them up with pen. I use this brown pen because I find it's a good match. As you can see, I can just go over a bit. You, you can use any type of pen. If you're using a black ink, any fine liner pen, just make sure it's a pen that's going to work okay with whatever colouring medium you're going to use. If you're going to use um, pro markers, etc. So that's, I'm quite happy with that, so I can go away now and put together a card using these. I'm going to colour them in with my Pro Markers, cut them out, and then I'll be back shortly to share with you the finished card. And here's my finished card. As you can see, I've coloured in the two crocodiles with my Pro Markers and cut them out and used them to put together this sweet card. Now I'll put links in the description to all the products I've used and I'll also if you pop over to my blog I'll make sure I put full details there of everything I've used for this card and how I've put the whole card together so if, if you're interested in making something similar then pop over to my blog and I'll have all the details there for you. I hope you found this video interesting and useful and hopefully I'll be back soon to share some more ideas. Thanks for watching, bye!